Tight five is always at this time, which is... The tight five. Five separate sporting topics, 60 seconds on each. When the bell dings, we attempt to go quickly on to the next topic. All right, how do you approach day two? Joe Root was at a knob shot. Should we criticise going out like that, a guy like Joe Root? Goodbye, Spark Sport. Is it a good thing that the cricket is going off Spark Sport and back onto free to air? A batsman these days in test cricket, do they have the ability to bat a day? I mean, tell me a batsman that can bat a day in test cricket these days. Does Lydia Ko get way too much publicity? I mean, every time she swings a bat, she's in the sports news. Do, you know, you're playing a tournament. I mean, should we be covering this every single shot and every single round? I listened to the mass media, major radio stations on the way to work this morning, and it's leading the sports news. Really? Ah, the Cougar line conundrum, break his loss. Let's talk about this day two, though. How would you approach it, mate? What, if, 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 if you were the New Zealand coach, Gary Stead, what would you be saying start of day two to our guys? How would you approach it? I don't like the idea of trying to beat another team at their own game. So I'd probably get Wagner to throw the bat around a little bit, as I said earlier. Bring in Daryl Mitchell, have he and... Um, is it Devin Conway at, at, at the crease? Yeah, Conway's yeah. here with Wags at the moment. Conway and Mitchell just to slow things down, defend a few shots, build a bit of a partnership, and then try and slowly tack on those runs and... And find your way to what do they need? They, they're three ninety something they need. So they're two, they were two eighty eight behind uh, before the start of the day. I'd do that because if you're going to try and play every shot with such ferocity the way that England does, and act as though it's a limited overs match, uh, I just don't see how that works in your favour. And I think you made a good point earlier on the show that you'd want to have that pink ball under lights with a bit of juice. So that's what we should be aiming for. See, this is the whole thing about a pink ball test. I totally agree with you that it changes your mentality of how you approach every single day because what you want is that night session mm. with a hoop and ball, don't you? Because mm. you're going to cause carnage, you're going to cause chaos. I don't know any batsman in the world at the moment. Who's good enough to have sat there and played Jimmy Anderson last night, Stuart Broad last night? Kane Williamson certainly wasn't. Now, he's one of the best batsmen in the world. Well, who are the... There's sort of those four... Not kings, but for a few years it was the four best were what Coley, Smith, Williamson, and Root, and I don't think Williamson's in that conversation anymore. No, I don't believe the he numbers is. recently don't suggest Steve Smith's believe, in that conversation. Look, Root isn't because he's just he's too well, bing bong la la. What's Root by the numbers has been yeah, probably the best does, in the world the last. I mean, look at the year way he batted so. yesterday. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. But um, I would say if you had to have, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm a big fan of Barbara Azam. Ah, okay, okay, good point. Yeah, I okay. think he's the best batsman in the world or right now. I was going to say one of the Indian openers, maybe. Yeah, Shubman Gill's pretty yeah, good. He's having yeah. a good year. Okay, one of those guys. But Ooh. are they are they smart enough to I don't know in that situation play the right shots? I don't know. Is I'd it say so. is it is it something as far as Test cricket goes these days as a batsman that you actually want to be known as? Do you want to be known as the Rock, right? That or the Wall? I mean, those nicknames were great, weren't they? That You couldn't get them out. Alan Border, you couldn't get the bastard out. Mm. Jeff Boycott, you couldn't get him out. That was test cricket. You couldn't get the guy out. I just, I, I, look, I think the two things that with T20, I love the way that it has actually taught everyone who holds a cricket bat to play 100 different shots. And the game moves at a pace now, which, look, it was sedentary. That was test cricket. It was, you know, to half of watching a game of test cricket or match test cricket was you went to sleep for half the match. I mean, that was the whole beauty of it. You went, you lay on the bank and went to sleep. But you can't miss a ball of this because mm. something is happening every single over. So, but at the same time, I, I hope it doesn't get lost because the fighting, battling draw after the, on, in the, in the fifth day on a terrible pitch is as good to watch as any sport you'll get if you understand the game of cricket. Lydia Ko, I mean, do we have to know every single round that she plays? Oh, she's the number one. The number you worked in newsrooms. Well, yeah. Well, for starters, I know what you're referencing here. You're referencing the News Talk ZB bulletins this morning. Mm -hmm. That, to be fair, those are two-minute bulletins every half hour at that time, and every bulletin has to be different or at least fresher. And so what? You've got the black caps, you've got the breakers. There's not really a lot else going on. And so you've got to find all the different angles that are both relevant and newsworthy, relevant to Kiwis, but newsworthy in general. And uh, to be fair, Lydia Ko is the number one golfer in the world. It's her first tournament of the season, and she's leading. 
Okay. Right. okay. So no, I, I think just, that's, I, I just, mate, I've, I've mar- very I, I've, I've marked the moment. I just, we'll just see how this continues throughout. Yeah, but the you year. don't like Lydia. Co. No, I, it's not. I don't like Lydia Co. I just don't believe that every single time a golfer plays, that if we Ryan have to put golf, every single score in if the Ryan bloody golf's news. first tournament of the season, he was leading after the first round. Would you put him in your bulletin? One hundred percent. Well, well. So you were just a misogynist. Of course you are. Sergeant is sexist pig is what I am. The cougar line conundrum, which won't go away, and social media, of course, every second person, it's all they want to talk about. Will this ever go away? Should this ever go away? It shouldn't, it won't, and it shouldn't, because he shouldn't be playing. Why shouldn't he be playing, in your opinion? Um, I don't buy into the whole you've got to be found guilty to be stripped of that right to play for New Zealand. Um, because I think if you step into a realm where you're not exactly maybe committing the crime, but you're in that conversation of being, of having committed a crime, if I'm making sense, I just don't like that being attached to the new, to the silver fern and someone playing for New Zealand. And that includes someone like, um, and not to cherry pick him out here, but like Sevy Reese. Does that include all kinds of crimes? What say you got done for? Oh no no I th- no no I think I, th- I think once like you Eric pass Rush a killed a guy in a car, right? Speeding, killed a guy in a car, caused serious brain damage to somebody else, terrible injuries that last a lifetime. He came back and played. Well, what are the circumstances? Speeding. Yes. Was Speeding. So he, his what, fault. Well, was it an intentional? Well, it was his fault. They, but they class that as manslaughter, don't they? Oh, I don't know what he got charged with in the end, but in the end he paid a bit of money and he and you know he played for the All Blacks again. So well, yeah, does that well, come I mean, into this? I mean, it's an, yeah, it's an well, ugly topic, ladies and it gentlemen. Is. It's, it's, but to me, he should never have played for the All Blacks again well, either. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably say he should Because he caused he, those deaths by speeding. He did. Yeah, so, no question about it. You know, I, I think if you've got a, you know, if it's something like, if it's something like, you know, robbing a shop... I don't know. I don't know if that's that serious. But if you're, abu- well, of course, if, it is. If you're if, the first behind the counter. Well, yeah, but my, my but but if, if if you pay your dues and whatnot, you come back. Then I don't think you should be disallowed. From you mean like Con Bootsianis, the old um, football <laughs> kings guy, the yeah. getaway driver? So, but I mean, I'm more more meaning for something around sexual assault that with Scott Kugel on here. With, yes, he was found not guilty, but the uh, the sexual assault you got something like um, Sever Reese, where he 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 beat up his, I think they're still together, his current partner. Uh, you got the Adam Thompson who hit his partner in, in Hawke's Bay all those years ago. Like I, I, Shannon Frizzell. Shannon Frizzell who got into bar fights. Sibby bar I, I, just, I, I just don't like the idea of a, a criminal, is more, more or less, wearing a New Zealand jersey. I, like, I think domestically or super rugby, if we talk about rugby, for example, domestic cricket for a cricketer, that's fine. But I think the, there's something different. You're representing the country in an international I stage and you've got you. this dark past. I agree with now, you. Now, Scott Kuglan was found not guilty but you know this better than me, with the transcripts of him in court and how he talks about it, he definitely did something wrong. So I just don't like it. No, I, it's, look, I mean, it's, I mean, I, would, I, mean I, think, I, would, I think, I think, I think that last bit is how I feel as well. And, you know, you can argue the pros and cons and the legalese and everything else. I just don't like it. Yeah. It doesn't, I, I doesn't it sit, doesn't right, with sit right with me. That's, that's all. I just, it doesn't. Finally, let's talk about the breakers then, one all. And Liam picked this yesterday. Uh, we'll replay you that quote shortly from Liam Santa Maria. Really difficult place to go and win. Um, and Jordan Mills will join us to discuss more about it in 25 minutes. Oh, I tell you what. He's our Saints expert on this. I think that we can win at home. I mean, I really do. I don't, I don't have any doubt about that. But it does concern me that I think they're playing with house money now. Mm. That, that the Jack look, this is a side that I'm nervous. Seventeen points down or something like that in that first game I was watching. They clawed it back to half time, right? Uh, they went toe to toe. It was a level at half time again yesterday. They went on a little bit of a run and got the. Yeah, I am nervous too. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, and I think the, the I, look. I, I believe the Breakers will win, but by God, it's going to be a well, tense game to be at or to be. You watch, know, t- Tasmania right? got to the final series last year, and I think they were the fourth seed in the playoffs. Well, they certainly were on the road in their first round series in the playoffs last year. So they kind of um, they were they very much the underdogs in getting to the final series. The Breakers, so 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 it's not as if they're a team who don't have experience in the situation. Whereas the Breakers are, they've got a rookie head coach. They you know a bunch of inputs have come together. We weren't really on this team last year, who were playing very well. There's nothing to suggest in terms of their performances that they shouldn't go on and win. But it's a bit like the argument with the Eagles and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, where sure the Eagles are playing really well, but. You've got a very young coach, a young quarterback. They haven't been in this That's position it. before, and the That's Chiefs it. have. The That's Chiefs it. have both won and means lost Super Bowls. You know, it means everything. Yeah. And there's a lot of play calling, at least on the defensive side of the ball for the Eagles, that, that came back to bite them in, excuse my language, bite them in the ass. 
So maybe a similar thing goes on here where the breakers are a bit of, you know, they face a bit of a deer in the headlights moment where, okay, we haven't been here before. You know, this is um, sudden death. See, if we were playing, if the breakers were, when I say, if we were playing, if the breakers were playing the Sydney Kings and it was two, or I'd, I'd be arguing the exact opposite from the other point of view. And I'd be saying, well, this is, you know, this, the, the Kings have got everything to lose here. It's, it's almost like the breakers to me have got more to lose than the jack jumpers in this third and final game. Mm. It's going to be a cracker, 4 p.m. Spark Arena on Sunday afternoon. Devlin. Unbelievable. Incredible. The Platform.